Hi, this is Naveen Anjanappa. Now, let us look at the developers in the Scrum team. Developers are the people who are committed towards building winning product and focus on 100% done and usable product increment that can be shipped at any given point of time after the sprint is done. The developers have all the skills required as a team to focus towards 100% done and usable product increment. Skills such as the coding, the testing, user experience, documentation, and then automation, or any other skills that are required by the team so that they can focus on 100% done and usable product at the end of every sprint should be present within the team. Such a team is called as a cross-functional team. And these people have only one goal, the sprint goal and a winning product in their focus. Let's look at what are their accountabilities. The developer's accountability as per the Scrum are creating the product backlog. The product backlog is the plan to reach the goal, that is a sprint goal, and also helps how the teams can inspect and adapt during the sprint. As a team creates a sprint backlog, the guide, the sprint backlog guides the team to inspect and adapt and see where their plans can change, keeping the focus on the goal. The team members are focused towards building high quality product increment by adhering to the definition of done. Definition of done evolves over a period of time and become more stringent and hence the quality of the product also becomes much more stringent and higher quality over a period of time. It is important that everybody adhere to the definition of done and focus towards building the product increment that meets the done criteria rather than adding the number of functionalities into the product without having the done met. The team members self-manage their work, they inspect and adapt their plan every day. And this is done towards the sprint goal. So that if there are any corrections that needs to be done during the sprint for the goal, they would go ahead and inspect and adapt, make the necessary changes to reach the goal. Of course, the sprint backlog can be changed anytime during the sprint and the developers own it. The team members hold each other accountable as professionals for everything that is done during the sprint and towards the sprint goal. They are committed towards reaching the goal as a team. Now that you have looked at the developer's responsibilities, let us look at the next role, which is the next responsibility, which is the product owner. The product owner is the owner of the product and focus on every aspect of a product development. A product owner is one single person who is accountable for everything related to the product, right from market research, stakeholder analysis, users, customers, looking at the market conditions, the competition, creating a product vision, roadmap, strategies, budget, managing the value delivery, identifying the product backlog items, prioritizing dependencies and risk management, working with the teams to build a winning product, usable product, engaging, inspiring, negotiating, collaborating, and clarifying the doubts related to the product are all some of those activities that a product owner could do. Now let us look at what are the responsibilities and accountabilities of a product owner in Sprint. In Scrum, we have the product owner accountable for maximizing the value of the work, which means building winning product with the help of the Scrum team and delivering high business value becomes the accountability of a product owner. Ensuring that the product backlog is transparent, visible, and well understood by everybody in the team. This way, they could communicate their needs, wants, and also the objectives to focus towards the goal. The product backlog being transparent, visible, and well understood is an essential part of working in a complex zone, which helps you in inspection and adaptation. The product owner helps in developing and explicitly communicating the product goal and the sprint goals, the objectives. It is important the product owner acts as a navigator towards the goal, and the team members are the engine to run towards the goal. Creating, ordering, and clearly communicating. 
creating, ordering, and clearly communicating every product backlog items to the team members and the stakeholders becomes an essential responsibility of the product owner. And, and they are accountable for getting this done every sprint. They also manage the product backlog effectively at refinement. So they are focused towards effective product backlog management and resulting in clearly well understood requirements for the team to start working on. A product backlog refinement is a very interesting mm -hmm. session where the team members and the product owner work towards each other for getting the ready and small product backlog items for the next upcoming sprints. These are the activities that the product owner is accountable for. And the product owner could either do all these work items or might delegate this responsibility to other people. At the end of the day, the product owner is accountable for anything that happens irrespective of whether the product owner takes a decision or delegates this to somebody else. I hope now you are clear about the responsibilities of the developer is to focus on building winning product, while the responsibility of the product owner is to focus on knowing what makes a product a winning product and managing that. We will look at the Scrum Master responsibilities in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much.